Welcome to LiveView Training. Today you will learn how to set up and use your LiveView LU600 unit. We will be demonstrating how to stream to YouTube, Facebook, and Divids in this video. This is the LiveView LU600 unit and LiveView extender. First, double check that you have all the equipment needed. LiveView LU600 unit, LiveView extender, camera of choice, a computer with internet access, one ethernet cable, DC power cable, and an extension cord is highly recommended. Upon removing the LiveView extender from its case, you will notice three ports on its side, the satellite, ethernet, and DC power ports respectively. In this scenario, we will not be using the satellite port. Connect the DC power cord to the DC power port on the extender. Connect the ethernet cord to the ethernet port on the extender. Next, plug in the ethernet cable to the LU600. There are two ethernet ports on the unit, both ports are functional. Either unit can be powered on first. The power button is located on the bottom of the extender. The power button on the LU600 is located on the side of the unit. Once both units are powered on, connect your video signal via SDI or HDMI to the LU600. You should see a feed from your camera on the display of the LU600. In order to access LiveView Central, contact AFPA for temporary login credentials. Now you will move to LiveView Central on your computer. After logging in, hover over the Manage tab and click on Channels. You will see a list of channels. Only channels listed in Preview Mode are able to be modified for streaming. Preview Mode is indicated by the green eye symbol. Select the channel by double-clicking or clicking on the Edit icon. A pop-up window will open. Under the General tab, change the name of the channel. In this scenario, we will name it LiveView Training Demo. Click on the Graphics Overlay tab. Ensure that Graphics Overlay is off. Next, click on the Streaming tab. Turn on the streaming. Select RTMP under the Stream Type drop-down. Under the Provider drop-down, select YouTube. Next, open YouTube. Log into the account you want to live stream from. In the top right hand corner, click on the Go Live button. Create a live stream title. The stream can be public, unlisted, or private. Click Create Stream. Note that only you can see the live stream if it is private, and only those with the URL can see the stream if it is unlisted. Locate your stream key and copy it. Next, go back to LiveView Central. Under the Streaming tab, locate the Stream ID field and paste your stream name. Go back to YouTube. Copy the stream URL. Then paste it in the primary URL box in LiveView Central. Select Custom on the Video Profile drop-down. Next, select the appropriate resolution. For this scenario, we will use 1920 by 1080 Click Apply, then OK. Now your live stream name will appear on the list and is fully configured. On the LiveView unit, confirm that a video preview is coming through. Tap the Named box under the Live button. A list of live stream channels will appear. Select the channel you just configured. Adjust the delay next. 3 seconds is a good starting point. You are now ready to live stream. Tap the green Start button to begin the live stream. On YouTube, a preview of your live stream will appear. It could take up to 40 seconds. Once you have a good preview and excellent connection, click Go Live. You are now streaming live to YouTube. To start a Facebook live stream, go to www.facebook.com slash live slash create. Click Create Live Stream. On the left of the screen, choose where you want to post your live stream. Add a caption about the event and make sure your live stream is set to public. Locate your server URL and copy it. Then paste it in the primary URL box in LiveView Central. Go back to Facebook, locate your stream key and copy it. Locate the Stream ID field and paste your stream key from Facebook. Select RTMP under the Stream Type drop-down. Select Facebook from the drop-down. Select Custom on the Video Profile drop-down. Select the appropriate resolution. For this scenario, we will use 1280 by 720. Click Apply, then OK. Now your live stream name will appear on the list and is fully configured. On the Live View unit, confirm that a video preview is coming through. Tap the green Start button to begin the live stream. Once you have a good preview and excellent connection, click Go Live. You are now streaming live to Facebook. When streaming to Divids, you must submit an event support request on the Divids website. 
Note that event support requests should be submitted at least two weeks in advance and require an active Divids user account. After filling out the support request, you will receive an email confirming your live stream time, server URL, and stream key. Open LiveView Central. Select your streaming channel by double-clicking or clicking on the edit icon. Next, click on Streaming tab. Select RTMP under the Stream Type drop-down. Select CloudFront from the drop-down. Locate the Stream ID field, paste the Stream key, and paste the server URL in the primary URL box. For resolution, select 1280 by 720 click Apply, then OK. Now, your live stream name will appear on the list and is fully configured. On the LiveView unit, confirm that a video preview is coming through. You are now ready to live stream. Tap the green Start button to begin the live stream. In your browser, enter the URL provided to check your live stream. Please note that your live stream will not appear until the time in your event request. You are now streaming live to Divids. For questions you may have, consult your user manual or visit www.liveview.tv for more information. Thanks for watching and happy streaming!